Hi boys and girls, we're taking a week off from our lessons, but this is a review week and so I hope you'll enjoy our memory match game today. Mrs. Jen will give us the directions. Okay, so we have questions and it's kind of going to be you and me and Mrs. Sue all playing together. Of course, Mrs. Sue and I are going to have to be the ones that are trying to find the matches, but we'll ask the questions and uh, you keep track if you get the answers correct. You get 100 points if you get the correct answer. And then you're going to have to pick a team. You're either going to have to pick Mrs. Jen or Mrs. Sue. And if we get a match, then you get an extra 100 points. Okay? So let us know how many points you got. And we'll give you some extra money towards the missionaries. Okay? All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, some of these are multiple choice. Some of them are true, false. Some of them are fill in the blank. So we'll give you a minute to answer after we give you the answers. Alright, here we go. First question. Who was the mother of Jesus? Alright, we have Frida, Elizabeth, Helga, or Mary. What do you think, Mrs. Sue? I think Mary's the right answer. Is that what you said? I bet Yay! it is. Yay! <laughs> Good job, Mrs. Sue. Alright, go ahead. Alright, I don't know where any of these are, of course, so I'm just going to look on the back of the mugs. German chocolate. White chocolate. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, I'm going to have a hard time, I can tell, remembering these. I know. All right, the second question. Joseph chose not to get married to Mary. Is that true or false? What do you think, Mrs. Jen? I'm going to say false because That's, they did get married. <laughs> exactly, they did get married. Okay, so you get 100 points and then okay. get to choose. I'm going to pick this one, milk chocolate. Yeah. So that's one we haven't seen yet. Yep. So I'll put it over here. Chocolate marshmallow. Oh boy. Mm. <clears throat> Can't test my memory today. I know. Okay. Here we go. Where was Jesus born? In a hospital in Nazareth? On the side of the road on the way to Bethlehem? In a stable in Bethlehem? Or in the palace? What do you think, boys and girls? I think it's the stable. Good job. Is that what you said? <laughs> 100 Good. points. All right. I'll try this one. Oh, milk chocolate. See if I can remember where that one was. No, I mixed them up. I bet you guys knew it. You probably remembered better than I did. Now I know where it is. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, kids. Well, <laughs> maybe you picked Mrs. Jen for your team. <laughs> All right. What question are we on now? Number four. Who visited Jesus on the night that he was born? The king, temple leaders, shepherds, or guards? What do you think? The shepherds. That is correct. Okay. Oh, I bet she's going to get this match because she'll remember where they were. I'm going to try. <clears throat> All right, milk chocolate and milk chocolate. Got it. Good Ooh. job, Mrs. Jen's team. Okay, next question. God used a special star to guide the wise men to the child Jesus. True or false? Mmm. What do you think, boys and girls? I think it's true. It is true. Good job. Hmm. Let's see. What I haven't seen yet. White chocolate. Ooh, did we see is that, that the one that I picked? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm forgetting I already. Either. I know. That might be the one that I picked. Let me check here. German chocolate. Oh, oh no. I'm going to get them all mixed up now. Okay, we'll just see how we can do and have fun. Yeah. And this is harder than it, than it looks. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, I think it's your turn to ask a question. Oh, that's right. So, what did the wise men bring to Jesus? Now, there's going to be more than one correct answer on this one. Gold, silk cloth, frankincense, Chocolate or myrrh? Pick all the ones that are correct. Well, I'm going to say gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And that is correct. Great job. Although I would have liked to have gotten chocolate. Especially hot chocolate. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Dark chocolate. Oh, I don't think we've seen that one yet. No, that's a new one. <gasps> Dark chocolate! <gasps> what a good guess! Could you believe that? She could see through those. Oh, I can't. I that can't was just see a lucky one. <laughs> no, I was teasing. 
but that was a good guess. Okay. When Joseph and Mary realized that Jesus wasn't walking home with them, where did they find him? Eating at a party with friends, teaching on a street corner, or sitting in the temple with the Jewish leaders? Mm. What's your answer? Mine is sitting in the temple with the Jewish leaders. Woohoo, Mrs. Yay. Sue, good job. Okay. Let me see this one. Oh, there's another new one. This is Swiss chocolate. Ooh. So let's do another new one. Oh, I'm going to give it away. Chocolate marshmallow. Uh -oh. <gasps> I don't remember We've what seen that, that one. Oh. Jesus was 10 years old when he was first allowed to visit the temple for Passover. Is that a true statement or false? What do you think? Ooh, this is kind of tricky. But I think it was false. I think he was 12. That's correct. Yeah. Is that what you said? Let's okay. find out if we can get a match. All remember, right. 100 points for the correct answer, too. I do not remember where the chocolate marshmallow is. Don't you wish they could tell us? I know. Maybe shouting They it probably out right know. Now. Oh, Swiss chocolate. Oh, We've seen We've that seen one before. That one too. Oh. Chocolate mar oh, 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 it's the chocolate marshmallow. I thought I gave that one away last time. <laughs> okay. Oh, my turn. <clears throat> What two amazing things happened when Jesus was baptized? Hmm. So there's going to be more than two answers here. The angels sang the hallelujah chorus. God spoke. The Holy Spirit in the form of a dove landed on Jesus. And the river parted and John and Jesus stood on dry ground. Hmm. Two of those, those were correct. A lot sound familiar, don't they? <laughs> but not from our lessons. How about God spoke? And the Holy Spirit came in the form of a dove. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's correct. <gasps> See if I can remember this time. Oh, I do! Chocolate marshmallow. We've got a match. Yay! Yay! This is team. Finally. All right, here's another true or false. Jesus quoted verses from the Bible to win against Satan when he was tempted in the wilderness. Is that a true statement or false? He quoted verses from the Bible. True. Hope you said true. That's worth 100 points. Okay, let's see. We're getting down here. We should do better now. I know. <laughs> okay. Not sure we've seen them all. White chocolate. <clears throat> oh, I don't remember if we've seen this one or not. German chocolate. Mm. Okay. Sorry, guys. That's okay. You're still one ahead of us. <laughs> here we go. Jesus chose blank men to be his disciples. How many disciples did Jesus choose? I'm going to say 12. Is that what you said? 100 points. Good job. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's see what I can do here. <laughs> this one says Swiss chocolate. I thought it was a different one. Hmm. German. Oh, no. I'm going to give it away. Now this is when we get really confused because they're too close. Right. <laughs> And I'm sure the kids watching already have it figured out. But that's okay. That's good if they do. All right. This one is a fill in the blank. G John the Baptist called Jesus the blank of blank. You remember? This one can be kind of tricky too. But I think he called him the Lamb of God. That is correct. Good job. Okay. 100 points. See if you can make a match too. <sighs> They're getting ahead of us. All right. White chocolate again. <laughs> and <clears throat> Swiss chocolate. Oh boy. Oh no. I'm getting myself mixed up. Too. Okay. Jesus' mother, Mary, had told the servants at the wedding, Whatsoever he saith unto you, blank, blank. Hmm. Really short words. I'm going to say, do it. Good job. Okay. That was our memory verse. It was, yes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I thought it was that match. Let's see. This one's German. This one's German. Oh, now we're tied. Okay. Good. Now this is coming down to the really tricky part here. Let me get them mixed up. The first miracle Jesus did on earth was to heal a blind man, feed thousands of people with a little boy's lunch, turn water into wine, bring someone back from the dead. Ooh, those are all good things that Jesus did. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm going to say <clears throat> turn water into wine. Yes, that was the first miracle that Jesus did. Great job. Okay. Pressure's <laughs> on. <laughs> white chocolate. This is the other one we've okay. been looking for, right? Yes. And white chocolate. And guess what? <laughs> That would give us a tie, but I think we got the first question. Okay. So, technically, Mrs. Jen's team has won, but we'll go ahead and make sure that they match, so you know we didn't trick you. <laughs> okay. Do you want to ask one of those questions about our missionary story? Or sure. our Christmas story, rather. Rather than, these are all great questions about all the lessons that we've been having. Okay. So, this was just from last week. There were, this is a true or false, there were many people in Terea's village that believed in Jesus. There were many people in Terea's village that believed in Jesus. Is that true or false? What do you think? I'm going to say false because I think she was the only one at first and then her brother. That's okay. correct. So let's see at least if these match up the right way. We've got Swiss chocolate and Swiss chocolate. Yay! Yay! Good. But we're going to have to count this as Jen's team, the winners, because we got an extra question. So three matches against two matches. Let's give them a hand. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, kids. I hope you enjoyed our review and that even if you didn't get to watch all of the lessons, you can go back and do that now. Since we don't have a lesson this week, maybe you have a little extra time without having to do schoolwork. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>